Hello, welcome to another video. Umut here. I'm going to do another art journal page today. This is a new uh, sketchbook that I bought from a local shop. It's nothing fancy. It has a little bit thicker pages than a normal uh, notebook. And I have my new fancy uh, craft mat here. This is from Tonic Studios. Uh, and what I love about it is white. Uh, so I can use it easily because uh, I don't like the other colors when I am uh, filming. So I'm going to start by uh, using gesso on my page. Uh, I'm using heavy gesso from Prima uh, so that I can have a little bit texture as well. I'm applying this time with my spatula because again uh, as I said I want a little bit uh, texture on my page. Later on I will use my Prima stencil that you saw uh, a moment ago to create a proper more texture. Before I do that, uh, I will do some embossing as well. I'm using my uh, mini uh, pillow uh, that is uh, full of powder. This is an anti-static tool uh, for embossing, uh, for the embossing powder to stick uh, where it's supposed to stick. I'm using Versamark and this is a, a texture stamp uh, from Kaiser Craft. It has cherry blossoms on it. I will stamp it all over uh, my page uh, just to create a background and I'm using a brown uh, embossing powder from Zing here. Uh, I'm not after perfection here as you see there is a better impression in some of them, uh, less in the others. It's even better because uh, it's more natural. I'm going to stamp here and there and uh, put my embossing powder and I will heat set it all together afterwards. Today I'm uh, going to create a Japanese uh, theme, it's a concept uh, using uh, again uh, an ephemera pack from Kaiser Craft. It's called Hanami Garden. Uh, it has all these uh, cherry blossom uh, conceptual elements from Japan. I love that time of the uh, year where we see uh, amazing cherry blossoms uh, in Japan. Not that I saw it in person, I'm looking at pictures and videos. And I hope uh, I can see it uh, in person one time uh, traveling there. But basically I was inspired uh, by those images and then I saw this uh, Hanami Garden collection from Kaiser Craft. And I just wanted to use it to create uh, an art journal page. And now I'm going to heat set all these uh, cherry blossoms. Here they are. As you see my pages are curling a little bit. I didn't stick two pages together. But I'm okay. In the end I think it will work fine. Now I'm going to do some texture work. I'm using my light modeling paste from Liquitex. And uh, I'm, uh, create, I'm using this stencil uh, here and there, not all over the page, to create some texture. Today also I wanted to use watercolor mediums to show you uh, what are the available options and uh, what you can use, uh, how, uh, maybe it will give you some other ideas. Of course I'm not an expert in uh, watercolor or anything related to it. Uh, I will just uh, show you what I create, uh, how I use it. Uh, and uh, the mediums that I use uh, and then of course uh, you can try others yourself uh, and uh, other people are using them amazingly there are many other videos too from other artists my favorite medium is still uh, acrylic paint uh, I love it but uh, from time to time it's good to try other things uh, use other things for different effects and I really uh, enjoyed using uh, all these things that I don't use regularly today. So while I was chatting about all these things, uh, I finished uh, my texture work finally. So here is the result. And uh, now I'm going to start uh, using some uh, colors. This is uh, Infusions from Paper Artsy. I'm going to use uh, two colors of these. It's powder pigment. Uh, I made some holes uh, on the cap, so I'm sprinkling some and spraying some water. Today I'm going for an uncontrolled look, uh, so I'm not using matte medium, uh, but water today. And I chose another darker color. This is called Sunset Beach. I am also sprinkling some and spraying some water. Let them blend naturally. 
I'm choosing colors according to the colors in the ephemera pack that I will use. Uh, you will see it when I uh, use it. Now I will switch to another. These are my watercolors uh, from Koi. And uh, I will go for the colors that uh, goes with my page. Uh, I will use some reds and make the red uh, more brighter. I am uh, sp spraying some water on them and uh, taking some with my water brush. This is a brush from Pentel. And uh, I am coloring directly on the page. When I am uh, using the water brush, it's also activating the infusion still. So the color is not exactly what I take from there, but uh, it's mixing, but it's nice. Uh, it's the walnut stains that uh, Infusions has that gives a vintage look to the uh, color when you use it. I'm also using a yellow ochre color. I'm spraying water. Basically, I'm going uh, as I see. Uh, it's the same color that I took. Uh, it's the red one. I'm just trying to make it a little bit more uh, blended better and uh, more bright red. And now you will see the uh, ephemera pack that I mentioned. These are collectibles from Kaiser Craft and it's called Hanami Garden. Uh, it has many things, I will show you a little bit. Um, these are some birds, uh, some more cherry uh, flowers. It has very nice sentiments. Uh, when I saw the word, I wanted to use it on my page. Very beautiful, delicate uh, images and uh, nice uh, sentiments, as I said. And the colors, as you see, uh, matches my page uh, because uh, I looked at this and then uh, created my background. While I am showing it to you, I am also selecting uh, what I want to use. This is a matter of uh, seeing what you can use, uh, just putting on the page, trying. Uh, there is no easy formula to this. You need to put it, see it, uh, see if you like it. Uh, and then uh, try, try, try. Uh, you will see in the end, uh, you will reach somewhere that uh, you like. In the meantime, I can also tell you, uh, you will find list of supplies down below at the description area, as usual, as well as in my blog. Also, I will put the close-up pictures at the end of the video and in my blog. I think finally I am close to how I want it to be and uh, after I see I'm sure I took a picture with my phone to remember how it was because it's difficult many elements and I am sticking it uh, with my uh, tacky glue I'm not using matte medium because remember we have uh, watercolors on the page so it will move with uh, matte medium that's why I'm using tacky glue uh, I'm just spreading it with my hand as well, not to create a, a bump uh, at the back. And I will use this amazing sentiment which says the purpose of our lives uh, is to be happy. I have these uh, aqua pens from Nuvo. These are filled with watercolor as well. Uh, they are very easy to use, already ready. You activate them and uh, use them directly wherever you want to color. I'm using this pale uh, pastel pink uh, to color my cherry blossoms. To give a little bit color, just uh, it will stay at the background. Uh, but uh, rather than leaving them white, I prefer to give them a little bit uh, color for them to look nicer. This is another medium that you can use. They are very easy to use, very easy to blend. Uh, and uh, maybe it can be an entrance to watercolors if you didn't try already. And now I want to play a little bit with these uh, Harlequins. Uh, I want to give them color and make them more prominent. What I will start with is this uh, pale pink, uh, give, paint it a little bit with that, uh, dilute it with my pen, uh, water brush pen. 
so that uh, it looks like it has a shadow uh, and uh, it looks more realistic, uh, it gives more depth. And now I will switch to another medium. These pencils are ink tense, they are went ink tense pencils. I use them a lot in my coloring books. Uh, it's the first time I will use in uh, an art journal. Uh, these are ink pencils. Uh, you can uh, color with these and when you activate them with water, like I do now, uh, they activate and uh, the ink uh, becomes very vibrant, uh, very nice. And when they dry, they dry permanent. So even after uh, these, if they are dry, after they activate, they don't move again. I can uh, use other mediums, uh, use water, whatever I want and it won't smudge and smear. This is uh, what is nice about these pencils. I am using a yellow ochre type of color and afterwards you will see I will use a brown color uh, again just to give some edges uh, to my harlequins. I am also blending the color around the page as you see uh, to make it more cohesive uh, not to have harsh lines, uh, harsh color uh, transitions. I'm going to color a little bit at the bottom as well, as I said, not to have uh, harsh transitions between colors. And now I will switch to the dark uh, brown color. Uh, again, I'm giving some color uh, at the edges and I'm pulling it a little bit inside the harlequin as well so that uh, it gives a nice shadow uh, before the pink one. It, it makes a very nice transition from a brown to a pink as well. I'm going to leave you with some music now uh, when I finish all these. gesso uh, around my uh, ephemeras where I stick them just to make them a little bit more stand out. I'm also using it in the middle as well to cover all these uh, splashes and everything. I want a clear white, so from colors uh, to a white, uh, that's the transition I was looking for. So I'm uh, covering all these uh, splashes that happened in the middle. So we are in the next day. Uh, it was very late that day, I couldn't continue more. Uh, you can understand from the light that uh, it's day again. Uh, how I will continue is, uh, again, I am trying to separate my images uh, more clearly uh, from the background. So again, I'm using the same colors, uh, yellow ochre and brown, uh, to make a distinction uh, more prominent around the edges of the uh, images. And uh, I am making a transition again from the color to the page, nicely blending it uh, when I move away from the color. Now I will do the same with my uh, brown pencil.
uh, I'm going back to my uh, watercolors from Koi uh, using the yellow ochre again uh, to make it a little bit a better transition from a yellow uh, to a white so I'm extending the yellow a little bit it would be hard to make it with a with the pencil because I am playing a little bit further from the image I don't want a harsh line uh, blending it further it's better to use a watercolor already now finally I'm happy with the result I really like it I will continue with some uh, details I'm using my uh, Faber-Castell brush uh, pen uh, in walnut brown uh, to do some uh, darker borders I'm just smudging it with my finger this gives a better definition to my page I will even use a little bit black just around the edges very little as you see I'm only uh, making uh, I'm not almost drawing it on me, smudging it a little bit on the corners where I have the paints. So this gives, even if it's a little visible, uh, it gives a nice definition still. I wanted this part to be more red, so I'm uh, painting it with red a little bit. And uh, finally, I'm doing uh, black splashes all over the page to bring things together. And the page is finished. Uh, I'm really happy with the result, uh, how it looks and uh, all my play with uh, all my watercolor mediums. I feel like I gave them a lot of love. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Uh, if you did, don't forget to hit the like button down below or subscribe to my channel if you didn't already. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time. Mm -hmm.